Everyone die naturally. Another one, a chariot came and took him. Everyone die naturally. Another one, the Lord said, No, come and be with me. Which pathway do you choose? You will leave this earth one day. And whether you like it or not, Jesus Christ speaking about prayer. I say, When you pray, not if you pray. At least if you have done basic English, you know the difference between if you pray and when you pray. When I say, When you come to my house, and if you come to my house, if you come to my house, you say, I think it's an option. If you like, you come. If you like, don't come. And it's obvious you don't like my face, so you will not come. But if I say, When you come to my house, it's not an option, it's conditional. It means that one day, you will definitely come. Have you ever been in a situation where you have to go and ask something from your enemy? Somebody you have found has said, Never the day I do this, let thunder strike me. And here you are going. When you come, Jesus Christ teaching about prayer. I say, When you pray, anytime you see prayer is mentioned, my brother, it's when you pray, not if you pray. Why? It's not given to a man not to pray because prayer is included in the creation of man. When God created human beings, He put upon them the ability to breathe, the ability to create sound. Whether you like it or not, I pray to something. Every religion on earth pray. Whether you're an idol worshiper, a Muslim, a Hindu, you must pray. It's your definition. Man is designed to pray. If you don't pray, you are not normal as a human being. Everyone must pray. It's just a matter of time because you will pray. Situation and challenges of life will force you to pray. One day, with all your pride, you find yourself looking for how to pray. They will come like Nicodemus at night. Say, how? I told you the story of a man. He chatted me. Say, I have been watching you. I have been observing you for many years. They know you. Jimmy, what? Jimmy. Daniel. Your name is better. Eh? I want to say it's when you pray, not if you pray. So the better you start it, the better for you. The earlier, the better for you. Because you do it one day. One day you come at night to look for the house of people that pray. You'll be calling their number. And that time they are praying, they will, they will reject it. A lady we have been begging to pray, 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 pray. While men slept. Why don't you see it's an attack? Why will you sit down for 10 hours and watching series movies? I am not tired. You will never feel like you sleep. They will beg you. What's your name? Jesse. Grace. They will say, Grace, come and eat food. You say, Mommy, wait now. Come and eat food. Mommy, wait now. And you are not fasting. But the day you decide to fast, you will break in two hours. It's an attack. How all of a sudden you say you want to pray? Suddenly you begin to sleep. Some people are not even feeling sleepy, but they are forcing themselves to sleep. It's an attack. Why? Because prayer was supposed to connect you with God, to unify you with divinity, so that you can become one with God. So TV is there to rob you of that intimacy. A boyfriend, when the Lord wakes you to pray, suddenly a boy will call you. Hello. Now you are in the flesh. And when you are done, you begin to masturbate. The same call of intimacy. A vacancy that needs to be occupied by God. Now a boy has occupied it. Other times a movie. And you are not planning to become an actor. But you have known all the actors. You watch all the movie. And you are angry. Why did this movie end at this series? There must be another part. 
but you don't know there are another part of prayer. You're under attack. Daniel, you can never pray now. You can never pray enough. Never. Every man that do better than you in this kingdom is a man that pray more than you or know more than you. And you can decide to both know and pray. I check the level of the failure of men is traceable to their prayerlessness. It doesn't matter their title. If prayer brought you thus far, if you must move further, you need to pray again. God has no respect of human beings. He respect people that pray. Every lady that pray, cover herself in a beauty. Cover herself in a glory. There's a glory you may never be able to know until you begin to pray. Your life is not important. It's as important as how much of God you carry. Don't think you are important. Don't think people like you. If you are frank, ask an average person, what do he want to you? If somebody come and to you and tell you, I love you, ask the person, what do you really love? What is even love? Love is traceable to God. So anything the person is telling you is a lie. You will not know until after five years when he's done with you. Because what he meant love is that he wants to kiss you. He wants to touch your breast. He wants to sleep with you. That's all. And that is what you, you call love. So you go to campus and you spend five years. And every day you give your life to a guy. You have never seen the need to give your life to God. That is why you never move. Men that move in life are men that are consecrated to God. And one of the demands of consecration is that a man continually pray. Don't live your life wasted. Don't. Everyone you have ever desired today that bear relevance in God has a history of prayer. Every man that must be in must have a history of prayer. So when we say you should pray, it's not because we want to suffer. It's because many of you have spillovers. Spillovers. All the time the Holy Spirit will wake you up at night to pray. You will watch movie. Sometimes you turn from left and right and turn from left to right. Sleep rejected you. You accepted it by force. You turn here, you can't sleep. This is why we to pray. You turn here again. You turn here again. So God help you. He allows some nightmares happen. You now saw somebody chasing you because last to kill you. You now wake up. You were supposed to be praying naturally. That will not happen. 